and we say energy is conserved. When you are converting energy into different forms, the amount of energy will not decrease or get destroyed. Energy can only go into somewhere else or become some other form. It can only turn into different forms, but it cannot be destroyed. So that's what we call energy conservation. And mathematically, there are a couple of different ways to express energy conserved. You can say the sum of initial energy. In this case, there are kinetic and potential energy. These are both the energy in the initial state, so adding them together is the total energy of the both in the initial state. So if energy is conserved, then when you look at some final state, the total energy should sum up to be the same value. And because this value is always the same, no matter which final state you choose, you can look at here to be the final state. You add up the potential and kinetic energy of this law at here, it will be the same as the total energy as here. If you look at the energy of the law down here, the potential energy is smaller, the kinetic energy is bigger, but the sum of them should end up to be the same as initial energy. So no matter which state you choose, the sum of the energy is the same. That's why we say this is a constant, in a sense that it will be the same no matter which state you are looking at. The total energy of the dog is a constant. So that's one way to express energy conservation. Another way is to say, all right, let's move then to the other side. So Ki, initial kinetic energy to the other side becomes minus initial kinetic energy. Initial potential energy to the other side becomes initial uh, becomes minus initial potential energy. Now, because these two are the same, so if I minus energy with the same energy, I should get what here? Zero. Good. I minus I am subtracting the number with the same number. And final minus initial, that's that's the definition of delta. It's the change of kinetic energy plus the change of potential energy. So we can further write the change of energy added together is zero. So that's another way to express energy conservation. The energy, the total energy will always be the same value, or the change of total energy will always be zero. It might be that potential energy is increasing. If potential energy is increasing, should the change of potential energy be positive or negative? Good. So it can be that potential energy increase is increasing, like when the ball is going up the hill, then the kinetic energy decrease, so plus minus cancel. Or you can say the potential energy is decreasing, like here, the roll the ball rolls down, the potential energy decrease, and the kinetic energy increase. So plus minus may sum up to zero. So that's energy conservation. Yeah, all right here. Um, so in that ramp example, the kinetic energy is zero at the top where potential energy is highest. So then at the bottom of the ramp is the potential energy like at its lowest and so, the kinetic energy at its highest. Good. If I look at this ramp, the lowest point is here if I correct drawing. It's supposed to be a horizontal ramp. So the lowest point that the ball can be is down here. So indeed, the ball should have the biggest kind of energy when it's down here. But if I design a ramp like this, then this point becomes the lowest point. Then here, the potential energy will have its minimum, and the ball will be moving the fastest down here. 
create a big sweep. Good question, any else? Is 
It might be gravity, it might be spring force, it might be anything. But as long as you are using epical dynamics, then you'll get that the sum of these two quantities equals the sum of these two. And you can see this one only only related to the first particle, and this one only related to the second particle. So we have it. The kind of the energy we're looking for is the mass of the particle times velocity squared. And the reason we have this one half, uh, I'll explain why we have this one half later. You can totally define kind of energy without this one half, but then you will have trouble later. Since you need to remember that there's this factor of one half, so I'm just going to let you remember this instead of knowing how to derive it. It's just that from Newtonian mechanics, this thing will be considered in this collision between two particles. So I can write it. So we know kinetic energy can be changed 